Hi guys, Liam here from RDS. Today we're going to be creating a Xcode project that uses text field, UI alert view, strings and a button. Uh, basically what's going to happen is we're going to type a message into the text field and then we're going to press convert and that will display a UI alert view or a pop-up with the converted text that's been converted into a string. So because we're only creating a simple app, then we're just going to use single view application because it's only one view. So press enter and I'm just going to call mine text alert view. And then just check all the options below. The device isn't important for this uh, tutorial, so choose whatever you like. Press next. I'm going to choose a place to save it. Create a local Git repository and then press create. Okay, now I'm going to the .h file and .m. Uh, I explained about these in the previous video, so if you didn't manage to watch that, go 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 back and watch it and it will help explain more about Xcode. So to do a comment, uh, which is always good in case people are going to take over your um, uh, pro project, especially if you're uh, handing it over to a friend or colleague who you've let help you with the project, uh, this will help keep them, um, everyone on the same uh, page basically. So properties, we're going to do an app property, uh, non-atomic, strong, and then we want to do a UI text field. Notice I haven't put, sorry, UI text field. Notice how I haven't put a um, IB outlet. This is because we're not making it in Interface Builder and therefore don't need to put an IB outlet. Right, next up, we need to just press enter and then star. I'm going to call mine fill mess field message. And then I want app property, non-atomic, strong and then we want a UI button convert okay that's it for the properties and then we're just going to create a method a method is like a procedure so void um, that's basically the template for a procedure or a method void and then the name of it I'm going to call mine convert to pop up semicolon. That's it for our header file, so we're going to go into the main file. As usual, if you uh, make a property in your header file, you have to synthesize it. So we're going to go at synthesize um, button and field. And then you, when we build, you'll still notice there is incomplete implementation. This is because a procedure which we um, declared in the header file isn't included in this uh, main file. So to move this, we just go void and then type in the procedure and then enter and two curly arrows. And this is where we type the procedure code. Okay. So we're gonna go to view did load now and we're gonna create our text field and our button. I'm gonna go to create text field. So firstly, you wanna assign a field message to a text field. We want to go UI text field uh, alloc. Then we're going to go init with frame CG rect make. Now I'm going to use 20, 20, 280, and 31. Right, so that's our um, uh, sort of text field allocated. Now I'm going to do field message dot border star. This is the border of the text field, and I'm going to use UI text field order, sorry, UI text order style, and I'm going to use rounded rect, and we want field message dot text color equals, and then for a color you have to open the square bracket, UI color uh, black, like the color and then the color at the end. There's other ways to do this, for example, you can use um, uh, you can use codes like uh, that you'd use for CSS, but there's a problem with this, uh, I've just noticed, if you look at the um, semantic error it gives us, there's incompatible pointer types assigning to any string from UI color. Basically I've told it dot text when it should be dot text color, so basically I'm trying to assign a color to a string which is a piece of text which will never work. And then if we build again, 
you'll notice that semantic issues has gone away. Next, I'm going to do field message dot font, and I'm going to do UI UI font uh, system font of size 17.0. And I'm going to do field message. Basically, we're going to add a placeholder dot placeholder. This will tell people, give people a hint of what to enter. Uh, so we're going to say enter message for alert. Close the quotations, semicolon. I'm going to do field message dot auto correction type. Oh, sorry, auto. Yeah, dot auto correction type. And then we're going to go equals UI text auto correction type. And I'm going to use auto correction type none. Oh, sorry, I'm going to use auto capit or UI text auto capitalization none. That's what we're going to use. Uh, and we're just going to press semicolon. I'm going to do field message dot. Uh, sorry, I should have explained that. That basically means that it won't try to auto correct your letters. Uh, then we're going to do the background color of the text field, so that's inside. And I'm going to do UI color. Oh, sorry, that should be background color equals UI color uh, white color. Close bracket semicolon. I'm going to do field message dot keyboard type. And I'm going to use UI keyboard type default. There we are. So this allowed you to edit characters, numbers, um, letters, all that good stuff. Uh, now I'm going to do field message dot background color again, and this time I'm going to do uh, equals UI color clear color. Um, and again, I, we had a semantic issue because I was trying to assign it to um, a different uh, property. Uh, we want to change the field or the return type. The return key type is basically the bottom uh, right hand corner where you have a blue button and it says either search, go, done, there's various others or you can create your own obviously. Uh, we're going to use UI UI return key key and we're going to use go uh, then lastly we're just going to say field message dot clear button mode uh, this is basically when you're typing uh, a little cross may come up in the uh, corner and it will give you the option to delete all the textual writing um, and start again so we want to bring up that cross when we're editing the text field. View mode while editing. That's that for the text view, then we just need to add it to view. So we go self.view, add subview, field message, close bracket semicolon. So if I run that now, it's running on iPad, never mind, but you can see we have enter message for alert. I run it on iPhone because it will be a bit better for you guys. Enter message for alert. When we click on it, we've got the go button as we said. And if I start typing, the placeholder goes away. And we have the clear button here, which does its job. I'm just going to decrease the font size a bit. Right. Next, we're going to create the button to convert the text. Okay. So basically we want to